Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mike from MNR Automotive. I want to teach you guys how to wire a dual function light bar to a generic wiring harness. Uh, when you look at the power cable of the light bar, it has three wires. It has the ground, it has the positive for the white light, and a positive for the DRL feature. We're using a generic wiring harness in order to connect the dual functions of the light bar. MNR does not sell the wiring harness, but I'll show you where you can purchase one on Amazon. Um, theoretically, it has a ground from the battery, a ground and a uh, power cable. It has two buttons and it has three wires um, on the power end. So it has the, the ground, a power for switch number one and a power for switch number two. We're going to go ahead and disconnect the the trigger wire that's going to go ahead and activate the buttons to the light bar. We're going to feed this through into the bay, into the cabin, and then we're going to go ahead and plug this in from the inside. Now that we're getting ready for wiring, I'm trying to figure out a way to pass through the trigger cable for the power button inside the cab. We're going to cut the boot that's around the steering column. It's made out of rubber. You can use a razor blade or some scissors just to puncture through it. Um, the next thing I like to do is put some needle nose pliers through it so I can feed it from the engine bay grab it and pull it through the hole. I'll show you exactly how I do it. So here I wanted to show you where I went through the firewall. This is the steering column. I went to the side of it. And let me get some better lighting. I went to the side of it and then I put the scissors through. And I'm going to show you guys where it comes out from the other end. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some needle needle nose pliers through here so that way I can grab the plug from the engine bay and feed it into the cab. So I went ahead and put my needle nose pliers into the slit opening of the boot. I'm going to go ahead and spread them and somebody on the other end is going to feed me the plug so I could pull it through. Put your pliers, yeah. Okay, clamp. Okay, now pull. Keep going. I'm gonna turn it when I. The hole was just there. You go. Small. You see it? Mm -hmm. So I pulled the wire through. So that's gonna be the wire that goes to the button. So now that we have the little pigtail from which one we went through the firewall, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our buttons. And the buttons can be installed inside the cab somewhere here. The easiest way to mount these, it comes with double sided tape. You can go ahead and secure it somewhere here on the pillar. The wire gets ran through the side. And underneath the bottom, we'll cover this up. Beautiful. So now we'll use double sided tape and get two switches here in the corner. Let's go connect everything in the engine bay. So I want to show you where the wire is coming out from the boot. It's right here next to the steering column on the side. I don't know if you can see this or not. So this is the wire that, that turns the relay on and off. You can feed it through the side. Here's the relay itself. And off of the relay, there's two things that we have to do. First thing we have to do is worry about the power on the ground. So we can ground it here and extend the, the power wire to the battery. So we can take this cover off. And there's a couple places we can get it. Remove this. And we're gonna feed this through. And that's how we're gonna get power to the wiring harness. So we've already did the power on the wiring harness. Let's go ahead and put a ground to it. The factory bolt that we take out, we're gonna use the same one. Just make sure that it contacts on the non-painted part of the bolt hole. So now we're left with two wires. One of the wires is the power wires from the wiring harness. One of the wires is the power wire from the light bar itself. Let's go ahead and feed the light bar wire into the engine bay a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and feed the main wire of the light bar right beside the headlight. All right, perfect. Next thing I want to do is probably trim so that way we don't have too much wire in the engine bay. So I'll trim both, I'll still leave a little bit extra so that way we can do the connections and tuck it back inside. 
So here, the first one I'll cut is going to be the light bar wire. And we'll strip it as well. Get the wires in. Here, we got the sheathing off. And you have three wires. You have the negative, the positive, and the positive for the DRL feature. Okay, so three wires. We're going to do the same thing on the wiring harness. Here, you get red, black, and white. So in our configuration, black to black, red to red, and then blue is going to be to white, and that's going to be able to control two different power sources. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install some crimp connectors. And then just like we discussed before, red to red, black to black, and blue to white. All right, so let's go ahead and test it. Everything should be connected. We got the ground, we got the power bit cable, we got the switch inside, and the light bar is connected to the um, harness itself. So let's see if the buttons work. Here's the bright white light that functions as the main light bar. And here's a DRL feature, which is a faint amber color. I am using two different switches to control which function of the light bar is on. It's either the white or the amber. So it's a dual function wiring harness. Thanks for watching.